Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast. It's Christine Horn, the booking magnet. And today's topic is how the strike affected me. Wow. The strike of 2023, or rather, I should say the strikes, plural, the writer's strike and the actor's strike of 2023. Oh, wow. First of all, can I just say, I am grateful to still be here. I'm grateful that you are listening to the sound of my voice. 2023 was, um, man, it was hard as fuck. <laughs> I, there's just no other way for me to say it. You know, if you've got sensitive ears, please forgive me. I allow myself to speak freely as I need to speak. And it, for me personally, it was, um, it started out very, very positive and strong. And I had just got back from South Africa filming a, a wonderful TV show called Classified. I can share the name of it now. I was in South Africa for three months uh, filming um, in, 20, in the end of 2022 and then at the beginning of 2023 all while, you know, being in the middle of, divor of a divorce. <laughs> so my life had been very much, uh, gosh, yin and yang, like, wow, like great things happening in this corner, not so great things happening in the other corner. Um, uh, so that was very challenging. But, you know, the year started, I was on two TV shows that were super popular, you know, Snowfall. We had our final season on FX. And then I, you know, took the world by storm playing messy Mabel <laughs> on a show called BMF black mafia family. So there was a lot of buzz of a lot of press. It was just busy. A lot of things going on in the midst of my personal life. Um, wow. Like uh, <laughs> in shambles, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's like that. It's, it's, I think I know for me in the past, I would uh, imagine that everything is going great at the same time and that's just how it is um and it doesn't always work out that way and something i have to be say thank you to my therapist <laughs> you know she really helped me understand that there will be many times where there is this duality happening there is um you know bright shiny things happening here and then dark clouds on, on on the other side of things and it, one does not cancel out the other and uh and that and that's how my 2023 was um it started out so many great things happening career wise but personally it was some struggles um i you know ended up spending more time in atlanta georgia also um again going through divorce and then and then the strikes happened. And, you know, when I got back from South Africa, I was just very tired, um, just exhausted from, you know, long days of work, you know, being a series regular. It was, it was, it was exhilarating and fun, but it was exhausting. And then being on another continent, um, it took a lot out of me. So when I came back to the States, I just wanted to be still. I wanted to relax. I wanted to just catch my breath. And, um, Ended up doing a couple of projects um, right before the strike happened. Um, gratefully, uh, I shot um, Single Black Female 2. I'm sure it'll be coming out soon on Lifetime Television. And um, I did another project I can't talk about, but um, it was quiet. And I was okay with that because I was grieving, you know, I was grieving the end of my marriage and then the strikes happened and you know for me at first I was grateful for the quiet time but then I was also very to be honest very concerned I had some fear around the state of our industry and what that would mean and how long it would last and um but for a while I just embraced the quiet I embraced being still um, but then that slowly turned into some angst, <laughs> you know, I'm sure a lot of you can relate just, just wanting to work in the way that I was used to working certain times of the year. I'm just used to being very busy. You know, I call myself the booking magnet and that comes from 
being blessed to um to work a lot, even if it's not all bookings, just the activity of auditioning and feeling the adrenaline and the rush of of opportunity, you know, future roles, all that is super exciting. And to have that not be something that is in the works, it, it started to make me feel a bit like, who am I? Gosh, who am I? And that threw me off. Um, and then in September of 2023, um, my ex-husband, who was also, to be clear, one of my very best friends, his name was Garland Edward Rayford III. He passed away, and that shattered me, um, because even though our marriage was over, we had been friends since, gosh, we were 20, 21 years old. Um, and so that was tough, being, you know, there in his final days and and then my dog, Prince, who I love so much, who I um, I only got the dog because Garland convinced me to. I never was really into animals like that. And Prince turned me into a dog lover. He passed away. It's like he knew. He passed away two weeks after Garland. He had a terminal lymphoma. So I knew his time, his days were numbered. And I remember being so grateful in my grief that the strike was happening, that I was not jet setting the way I'm used to doing and running around because I wouldn't have been able to be there for those last moments of the ones that I loved. And then the last day of September, my cousin Zakia passed away, my first cousin. And uh, I couldn't even make it to go to her funeral. I just did not have it in me. Um, and to be totally honest with you, I just, uh, got still. It's like I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't show up on TikTok. I shouldn't, couldn't show up on social. I couldn't, I could barely show up for me. I was just in process and in grief and it was just a lot. It was just a lot. And I think it really wasn't until mm, November of 2023 that I started to even get the urge to want to get on set. Like, for a distraction for fun and then it hit me again that gosh I've been like that's been taking away taken away also now I know if you're listening you may be thinking well Christine you know you, you can write you can create your own stuff and I just was not in the space to do any of that I did not want to read any nonfiction. I did not want to study anything I did not want to I didn't even want to really be creative. I, I I wanted a distraction, but I I was not in a space where I had the creativity, the creative juices flowing in me. I felt so tapped out. And I can't say that I'm totally over it at all. I, I, I have good days and bad days. You know, I don't know that there's a timeline for grief and how you grieve. And, um, and it, I just felt out of sorts. And that's the best way I can say it. So outside of, personal loss I then felt like I had lost this major piece of me which was my my creativity my acting and to be totally honest I started listening to a lot of Wayne Dyer I don't know if you listen to Wayne Dyer if you haven't google him go to YouTube audible you can he's a you know very wise man rest his soul um and I listened to one of his talks and he was really talking about not being wrapped up in not self-identifying with the things you have or what you do. And I never thought I did before until it hit me that I was like, wow, I, I think I have wrapped up some of my identity in being the book and magnet. Hell, I got a book and magnet shirt on right now. Like I, I am, right? I am that I say I am. Everything that I say after I am is a prayer. And though it is powerful and intentional and, and important to speak life over ourselves and pour the good into us, it also reminded me to not, I am also, you know, a child of God. I'm also my mother's child. I'm, I'm also a, a spiritual being. I'm also, I'm so many things besides just being an actor. Acting is what I do. It's my gift. I'm great at it. Um, but it is not who I am. And that was a huge awakening for me. And that's something I still journal about and, and, and deal with. And 
and get curious about because feeling that loss, it truly felt like a loss not being able to have five auditions in a week or, you know, quick turnaround times. And I was like, Ooh, there's a bit of addiction to the adrenaline and, and all that comes with the lifestyle, the good and the bad. So for me, the strike brought peace. It brought some anxiety. Um, it had me reevaluate some things. Um, it was definitely extremely challenging financially, of course, like for many of us. Um, and uh, it just made me question um, some of my habits, some of my desires, what I like to do for fun outside of acting. Because <laughs> for me, acting is fun. Like, give it to me. I'll do it all day. But it's like, okay, well, who else? What else do you like to do? Who else? Who? I'm not saying that correctly. What else do you like to do? What else gives you joy? What else lights you up? What else sparks something inside of you? I love to cook. So I've definitely been doing a whole lot of cooking um, and feeding those that I love, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, to be totally honest, I am still allowing myself to let those answers unfold. I believe 2023 and and the strike of it all um, made me feel like a, you know, that, a butterfly, you know, like the whole metamorphosis, that caterpillar, the, meta, the, the butterfly, you know. And I feel like I, I'm so curious about who I have become and who I am becoming because of everything that I've been through. And perhaps as you look back on last year, or no matter when you're listening to this, as you look back at your, you know, at your last year, ask yourself, who, who am I meant to become because of that? Because of my life experiences? How have I changed? What have I learned about myself? And it doesn't, I don't believe you'll have the answers quickly. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. I don't know. I think it's just a good, it's a good journal prompt. What do you feel? What I know for sure is because that we're, because we're artists, we're actors, we, we get to use this. I know the grief and the pain and the loss that I've experienced recently. I know I get to use that in my work and I'm grateful that we have jobs we have uh outlets that we can use uh <laughs> our pain for our work you know you see some actors do roles you're like oh my gosh she was so good like it just felt like oh it was just she was living that and like perhaps they have you know there's something deeper there I know for sure I've already had a few auditions where I've had a, a husband, something happened to my husband, or, and whoo, child, that, that emotion is right there. That's, that, whew, I don't got to go far. It is right there waiting to get used. So we're grateful. I'm grateful that we get to use that. So that's how, uh, that's, that's how, that was me in the strike. And that was me in 2023. Um, I appreciate you listening and, and allowing me to be vulnerable with you and, um, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Hollywood Bound Actors or actress Christine Horn and, and let me know your thoughts about this episode or maybe what you took away from the strike or maybe what did you learn about yourself in your past year? You know, who has the last year turned you into? Very curious. All right, I'll see you here next week. Remember to shine bright like the star that you are. Peace.